Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is back again. It's 8 o'clock on the dot, dot, dot. 8-13, 8-13, 2023. And I'm about to check out of here and head to my next location. You know, I'm telling you, it, it was a good idea that I, I, that I did this trip, this journey um, west by myself. Because it was, it's a logistical nightmare just to get all my stuff in that vehicle. But I got it in there, believe it or not. And just imagine if I had other another person's belonging, it wouldn't have worked. Probably would have had to rent something and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, um, I'm getting rid of this. But, you know, what's, but, but, but what's good about it, I won't have to do anything like that again. You know, I could travel with someone. Um... In my vehicle if we want to if we decide to but we won't have it stuffed with a whole lot of you know we'll be able to share room in the vehicle it's not like I'm moving and blah 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 so that hard part is over see you see what I'm saying you get that journey going you start heading towards your path and before you know it, it's over it's done and you're gonna forget about it you're gonna forget about all the the difficulties and struggles it was just to get this get that stuff over here and thankfully, I didn't have a lot of stuff, per se. I, you know, the most I, I had a lot of books. And I want to do everything. I can't hold on to those books. I don't want to lose those books like I did the last time when I started to travel. Because I was, gonna, like I said, in 2005, I was headed to this to the West Coast. But a, a storm was coming through, Katrina, which diverted me to another area in the state of Florida, South Florida area. And that's where I stay. You know, like I say, it wasn't planned that I was going to the South Florida area. I just ended up there. You know, blah 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 blah. So, like I say, it was like it, it was a logistical nightmare <laughs> getting all that stuff in my vehicle, but I got it in there. And that's why I'm glad I got an SUV because I used to drive a sedan. I like sedans, so I can kind of go a little faster. But sedans are not practical, especially for my knees because I'm tall. Not practical at all. I was going to get a truck. But a truck would have been not practical as well because parking and having, um, you know, you know, an open bed and having it exposed and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, so an SUV works for me right now. It works perfectly. My knees, I'm not banging my knees and, you know, hurting myself. My back feels better, you know, in an SUV type vehicle. But anyway, um, I'm doing some reading first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and check out and uh, head on over to the next to the next uh, location. And then I, once I get over there, I'll come back in and talk about things. You know, some things that I was thinking about, like um, um, oh yeah, you know, you got you know, um, like I said, with the overpopulation. Um, as I've been talking about that for a while, I mean, it's going to be, um, you know, if we don't take measures into our own hands, which chances are we won't, we're just going to see disaster after disaster after disaster, whether it's Mother Nature or man-made disasters, right, involving population. You know, a lot of people are talking about it, and they know a lot of these people are talking about overpopulation behind the scenes, have some documents to prove that they're talking about it behind the scenes and they're, and they're coming they, they're attempting to come up with strategies to reduce the population what does that mean what does that mean okay and if we leave everything in the hand of so-called leadership and so-called scientists you know that's going to be devastating they're going to be manipulating and causing undue uh, uh, chaos undue uh, destruction mayhem you know, and 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 um, a nefarious means to you know quote unquote eliminate people. Okay, they've been talking about that for years, behind the scenes in caves and back offices, you know, underground. So, like I said, don't be surprised by what happens, because when because we've gotten ourselves so massively overpopulated. It's next to impossible to 
control that and needing to have people talk, people think reasonably, rationally, logically, because now everybody's going to be defensive, meaning you're not going to be taking me out. You're not going to try to kill me. You're not going to eliminate me. And so it just starts war, fighting, argument, disagreements, you know, me against them, you against him, and she against her, and all that kind of, all that kind of carrying on. And, you know, because everybody's going to be trying to hold on to theirs. You know, self-preservation brings out the worst in people sometimes. So I'll be talking more about it. You know, at a later time, I just want to go ahead and get on over to the other side of, you know, other side of this mountains out there, go on another side of the of the world, <laughs> and and it's going to be in a place where it's a little bit more populated, a lot more places to eat, like restaurants and places to walk and things to see. Out here, all I see is mountains and and greenery, which I love, and that helped me to calm down get used to the environment, and then be prepared for my next journey, you know, and um, and, and then make some decisions. You know, I'm going to make the right decisions. And if I don't make the right decisions, I'll be able to adjust and be okay. I'm not too concerned as I was back in 2005. 2005, I was like all over the place with my thoughts and probably made things worse than they had to be and feeling, you know, feeling... Um, a lot of anxiety and worry and some, you know, being worried about things. Now I'm a little bit more neutralized and stable. And I see the big picture and I know that there's details in between. But again, I'm neutralized. I'm not taking myself too high, taking myself too low. I'm right there. I can handle it. I got a lot of experience. And I'm telling my young people, get some experience. To, oh, in every aspect of your life, get some experience on how to handle situations. You know, situations that may be considered. You know, like I said, if you, if you, what if your car breaks down? What are you gonna do? You you know, got a flat tire? What are you gonna do? You can't get to nobody. You don't have a cell phone signal. Blah 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 blah. You know, think on those kind of terms. You're gonna need to. You're gonna have to. You have no choice. Okay. Because of the what we've allowed to happen, our complacency, our ignorance, you know, and all this is in behavior. Ignorant behavior, actions, ignorant thinking, stu- stupid thinking, stupidity and as to how we're thinking and acting. Come on now. So take a look around you. Be grounded in reality. It's overcrowded. This planet is overcrowded and crumbling. Okay? Make no mistake about it. Get out of your cocoons. Get out of your capsules. Get out of your bubbles. Get out and look around. Ride around in your communities. Look in your own backyard. And get out of your delusions, okay? All right, so I'm going to finish up here and uh, and, and take off and head on over. Uh, get me something to eat. Enjoy the moments, and uh, trust me, I'll be back.